Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I'm just vlogging. It's just like a normal day. I just got back from the grocery store. Um, me and Andy are actually leaving in less than a week to go to my mom's in North Carolina, up to Ohio, and then back to my dad's to, for me to stay pretty much for good. Um, and then Andy will fly back down here and finish out working down here and he'll probably come up to visit Hopefully he'll be moving up there sooner rather than later, but for now he'll be like visiting. I wanted to say that I got this pullover um, hoodie yesterday from Columbia, obviously. Um, and it's just black, but it has like the fleece lining on the inside and it's super cute. I got it from the Columbia outlet um, and it was only like 20 bucks and it has the Columbia on the side too. Um, I got a large, it's like a little bit oversized if you guys can tell, but I really like it. Um, but I haven't washed it yet. Don't judge me that I wear my clothes before washing them. But I mean, it's brand new, so whatever. But um, yeah, I got it from the Columbia Outlet and it was only like 20 bucks. So Columbia Outlet is always really good. Every time I go there, I got Andy a coat for Christmas um, and it was only like $48 or something. And it was originally like 160 or something ridiculous. So yeah, I got him that. But um, right now I just got inside for bringing all the groceries in. So I need to put those away. And you guys aren't going to do it now. So it's really nice outside. So I just like left the door open and they like love going in and out. Watch. Let's see. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. Is it exciting? Is it exciting? Wow. <gasps> Look. And now we're inside. Now go outside. Go outside. Go outside, go. Go outside, go. <laughs> they usually like when I have the door open, they'll like just like run in and out, in and out. And usually they track in like a ton of grass and stuff, but I need to like vacuum and clean up anyways. So I don't really care. Why don't you go outside? Go outside, go. Where's your ball? Let's see where your ball is. You want... Let's see. You want this one? You want this one? Look at this face. Oh, are we ready? Ready? You want to go? You want to go? Ready? Go. Get it. Come on. Get the ball. Oh my goodness. You're just going to leave it out there. Come on. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Go take a bath. Get the ball. Go get the ball. Go. Go outside, get the ball. <laughs> Come on. No, drop. <laughs> drop it. You're not taking that out there. I don't let them take like stuffed stuff because I don't want it to get nasty. Hey. Okay, I'm going to get it. All right, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Get the ball. He looks at the vacuum. <laughs> oh, you like this one, the squeaker? You like the squeaker one? You like that one? Scissor. Watch if I. Oh, she's not gonna do it. Never mind. So here's a little story time. Um, yesterday, Jax was outside in the morning, and we were just like, I was sitting drinking my coffee, and Andy was making breakfast, and Jax went outside to go potty he must have stepped in poop he came in we didn't realize but there was like a big turd right here there was poop all over his foot and he was lying on the couch and there was poop smeared all over the couch and in the rug so that was fun but I had to clean it up and I have a handheld steam cleaner I like talked about the story um, with you guys on my Instagram everybody was like how did you clean it up how did you clean it up so um, I have a Bissell, I think it's the pet one, the handheld spot bot, um, and I actually got mine from Ollie's. It was like refurbished, but it works just as well, and it's like brand new, but it was like half the price. So if you don't want to pay full price, definitely go to Ollie's if you have one near you. I think it's called Ollie's Bargain Outlet is what the store is if you're not familiar. But that's what I use, and Bissell has like their own solution that you put in it for the pet stuff, which is kind of expensive, so... Sometimes if I don't have it, I'll just do like just the water and then I'll put the cleaning solution like actually on where the, wherever the stain is. And then, yeah, that's how I cleaned it up. It's super, super easy. I had the thing since 
Um, Daisy was a puppy when she was potty training. It was literally a lifesaver. Um, so if you are getting a puppy, definitely invest in one of those. It's not even really that expensive. I think I paid like 60 bucks for it, but I know the brand new ones in Target are like 150, 160. So definitely look at Ollie's because that thing is amazing. Look at her right now. She's laying up there because she has the toy and she's laying on it. She thinks she's hiding it. Look at her face. What are you doing? Daisy, where's the toy? I, I don't know. I'm laying on it. I'm hiding it. Nobody will ever know. Hey. Where's the toy? Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. 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 All right. So, mom needs to put her groceries away. Let me close this door. So I wanted to show you guys just like a few things that I got. I'm not going to do like a whole haul because it's really just like obvious stuff. Kind of just threw it all up here in no order. But I got some Duke's mayonnaise because I love to have this really on anything. But um, in our mashed potatoes, this is what I like to add to it. I got some Caesar salad dressing because I've really been like into a Caesar salad kick lately. Like the ones at the restaurant. So I wanted to see if this was any good. And then we needed butter, so I got that. These are amazing. I went to the commissary today, so if you guys don't have a commissary, I'm not really sure where you could get this, but these are so dang good, and I love cashews, but the toffee flavor or whatever it is is so good. So if you have a commissary, definitely get this. It's near, like, the produce. And then I got whipped cream cheese because I love to have these sweet peppers with some everything but the bagel seasoning dipped in that. It's super good. I got this um, pesto with basil because I'm going to make like stuffed um, basil and like mozzarella with tomato chicken. And then I got some boom chicka pop. I got the sweet and salty kettle corn. That's the one that I always get. I got some chicken patties because it's easy to just have as like a snack or whatever. And then I got three of these for Andy because he has technically like three full days of work left so i figured he could take these i got the ranch the honey barbecue and the hickory smoked and these are only like a dollar so i love these too but i got them for him then i got some milk we go through a gallon of milk like literally every five days so because andy has protein shakes and then i love to drink just like plain milk with my dinner and then i also love to have like chocolate milk and then cereal and all that we've got eggs andy has i swear like 12 eggs a day so we go through that super quickly and then I got some 93% lean ground beef. Um, we're actually going to have this tonight. I'm going to do like um, taco bowls or whatever. And then I got some chicken thighs. I make, if you guys saw my TikTok that went viral, I make like Hawaiian teriyaki chicken with it. So definitely check that out. But I'm going to make that probably tomorrow. And then I also got some chicken wings to make because, I don't know, I just love chicken wings. And it's easy to make and they're super cheap. I also got some turkey sausage to have in the mornings. Pickles, because if y'all saw my last video, you know that I love pickles. And then I got some taco seasoning for tonight's um, taco bowls. And then these are seriously so good. Crab rang Rangoon, they kind of they kind of got me, you know. Like I saw them and I was like, I have to get them because they're so good. Andy doesn't really like them though. And then I got some corn to put either in salads or in the um, taco bowl tonight, probably both. And then I got this uh, long grain and wild rice mix for the taco bowls, some vegetable oil because I'm going to make, and breadcrumbs because I'm going to make um, some chicken cutlets. I got some bread, some onions, some potatoes, two avocados, the tomatoes, and then I got this 50-50 spring mix for salads and then also for the taco bowls to put on top. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, let me show you what else I got. And then I got this Head & Shoulders. This is like the commissary brand, I think, for Andy. I use it sometimes too if I feel like my scalp is dry. I got some makeup wipes. And then what else? I got this. This is the deodorant that Andy uses because if he uses any other one, he like gets a rash. So got him some of that. And then I got us some toothbrushes, some extra ones to replace. And then I got some, um, wow, I did not do that. 
Are you freaking kidding me? I got two conditioners. Wow. Good job, Emily. Proud of you. I needed freaking shampoo, not conditioner, but maybe I'll just use Andy's and then use that. Oh my gosh. And then I got some toothpaste. Wow, I'm really mad about that. What the heck? And then of course some dish soap. Oh, and then I also went to the BX. I can't show you one thing that's in here because it's a present for somebody because we haven't done Christmas yet with our family because we're like traveling up there. But I got some mascara. This is supposed to be like the better than sex mascara. So I've actually tried this before and I really like it. But mine ran out, so I got that. And then, hold on. I also got I also got some lip liner. I just got the um, NYX, whatever that is. That's uh, nude pink is what the shade is. But I got that because I got this um, Stila uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Fia. I think is how you say it. That's the shade, you can see it. And that's the brand, that's what it looks like, liquid lipstick. So hopefully these match pretty well. I think they do. Um, I've never actually used lip liner before, but I wanted to try it out. And I've never used this liquid lipstick any either, but I've heard really great reviews about it. So I'll let you guys know how I like it. And then the other thing is a gift to somebody. And then I got paper towels and that's about it. That's all I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away. And then I think Andy will be home and we're gonna go to the outdoor gym together. All right, so Andy decided to go to the regular gym. So I'm just gonna walk the dogs because I can't go to the regular gym with him because they're still not letting dependents in. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna walk the dogs and get some like cardio in. Um, instead of walking them together, I'm just gonna walk them separate so that I can like focus on both of them better and then also so I can like walk more um, without like killing them. So it's always the hardest thing deciding which dog to take first because it's like I feel like I'm picking favorites but I'm not. I just have to choose one of them to go first. So usually I choose Daisy to go first because if I leave her behind she likes to like scratch at the door and I don't like when she does that. So to avoid that usually I just take her first anyways. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take them for a walk. I'll probably vlog a little bit just um, on my phone. See so if you see it changed, that's why. walk did we go we went for a walk we went for a walk well we did <laughs> now I'm just gonna let him sit out back while I just kind of relax and watch him before it gets dark all right so I'm inside with the dogs but I wanted to show you guys this vacuum that I have I get questions all the time about like how I keep up with the dog hair and stuff which I've done a video on before um, but I'll show you guys the vacuum that I have because I need to put the filter back into it so this is the one that I have it's the shark I believe it's the lift away or something like that complete seal I'm pretty sure it's the lift away one I think it says it on this actually yeah lift away navigator is what it is so i have it taken apart right now which i really like that you can take it apart so you can take this off if you're just using like the hose um and then it's bagless so you just empty that out um but this is where the filter goes and i just cleaned them so let's see if they're dry so this one is basically just like always going to be this color let me see if it's all the way dry 
yeah, it's not quite dry yet, so I'm actually not going to vacuum. I'll just sweep instead, which kind of stinks, but it should be done by tomorrow. But this is the one that goes underneath, which this is dry, so I can put that in there. But this basically just goes like that, and then the other one goes on top of that, and that's the filter. But the other one before was like, and this was like full of just like dust and hair and dirt and everything. And I think that's why my suction wasn't doing as well as it usually does. Um, so I probably clean this out like maybe like every few months. Um, just because I do have two owner retrievers and I vacuum so much. But um, yeah, I'm glad that it has that and I'm able to just like clean it out instead of, you know, it just being crappy. And it kind of goes back to normal. We've had it for almost four years now so it still does the job just as well as it did when we bought it so i really like it so if you're looking for a new vacuum definitely look into that one all right so i just swept and everything and i'm just waiting for andy to get back from the gym before i start dinner because it's only like yeah 4 30. um but i thought i would share with you guys hold on this is so low so today is my last first day of classes for my undergrad which is kind of sad but more exciting than anything because I'm like so ready to graduate um but yeah today is January 4th so I started my last two classes ever of my degree my undergrad probably not my last ever so I'll probably get my PhD or something eventually but um yeah these are my last two classes that I have left I currently have 114 credits out of my 120 that I need to graduate so I have six more to go and each class that I'm in now is three credits so um yeah right now I'm taking graph theory which is math 412 and I just finished measurement theory so I'm assuming it's a lot like that although the layout of the class is a lot different so like as far as what you have to do each week um and the assignments and stuff but I'm assuming like the content's probably going to be relatively similar to um, measurement theory, I'm hoping, because that would be nice. Because um, we didn't really talk about anything like graph related in measurement theory. It was mostly like all just like error based and um, equations and stuff like that and different theories and, you know, stuff like that. So um, I'm hoping that this one will be more like graphical and... I don't know, I just like seeing graphs a lot more than just um, doing the equations and stuff behind it. And then I'm also taking Math 499, which is my capstone course, so it's called Senior Seminar in Mathematics, um, which that one is basically the whole, the whole like, um, class is writing your capstone paper, which is like a 20 to 25 page um, paper about I think you can choose pretty much whatever topic you want to um, so if that's the case I would really like that because I'd probably ch choose eigenvalues um, if you know anything about math higher level math <laughs> you would know what eigenvalues are but um, yeah I wrote a paper before about eigenvalues a very short paper um, about the Tacoma Narrows bridge collapse and basically how um, they didn't use eigenvalues when they were engineering the bridge and that's the whole reason why it collapsed um so yeah it's kind of interesting if you're a nerd like i am <laughs> um but yeah these are my last classes so and what's funny too is before these two classes started the whole time that i've been at the school that i'm at which is an online college it's called american public university um but they have done everything through a platform called Saki, I think is how you pronounce it, um, which some colleges use like Blackboard or something like that, but they use Saki and they literally just switched to, uh, I think it's called My Classroom and it's a, it looks a lot like Blackboard compared to what Saki looked like, but I was so used to Saki before, so now I'm like, what the heck, of course they change it like in my last two classes to something better. That's always, I feel like, how stuff happens, but, um, yeah, so in both courses, you have to do, like, honor pledge, basically, like, pledging that you won't cheat, and then, um, you have to do your intro forum, so I just did both of those for that, um, and then I have a, 
a forums like a discussion thing you post your 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 post and then people reply to it and you like talk about whatever the topic is um and then for both classes i have like actual discussion posts for my first week and then in graph theory i have homework that i have to do and then in my senior seminar i have a quiz um so i'm actually really excited to see what the quizzes are in my senior seminar because i have a feeling that it's going to be like backtracking stuff that we've already learned and everything which i think will be really cool for me to just kind of like refresh on everything especially going into like applying for jobs and stuff so i'm excited to do that um but yeah i'm gonna see what the requirements are for my capstone paper and then um, i believe that the forums are like you choose your topic is like the first one and then the next one every forum after that you talk about like your the progress of your um your paper and like how you're doing and or what what spot you're at and stuff like that so yeah as always i always make a to-do list of um each week so i just do week one and write what my to-do list is and then in the beginning when classes first start i always write this like basically this course i just say like everything that's graded and then if i can write find the due dates then i write them this one i found the due dates but i just didn't feel like writing them because it's basically week by week so it's kind of obvious um but yeah that's always what i do and i mean i've done really well in online school so yeah but let me show you guys what it looks like hopefully i think my memory is about to run out but this is what my classroom looks like so it's pretty similar to blackboard if you've ever done that and this is my little intro that i did um but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and work on some stuff before Andy gets back from the gym. All right, so I'm making dinner now. I'm just waiting for my rice to finish. But I'm making those burrito bowl things. I'm actually going to put them on a plate so we can, like, have more room. I feel like the bowls that we have are just, like, the, like, small bowls. We don't have, like, the wide bowls, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm definitely going to get those when we move. But, but yeah, I'm just waiting on the rice to finish. Andy's doing something in the garage. And, um... Yeah, I'll show you guys, like, the toppings and stuff that I'm using. So, I just cut up some lettuce, like, thinly, so we can have that. And then I like avocado, so I'm going to have avocado with mine. I also like jalapenos, so I'm going to have these um, pickled jalapeno pepper slices on mine, probably with some hot sauce, too. And then I also have salsa, and then i have this actually i'll probably have this with it i have this taco bell mild sauce and then i have the rice going i roasted some corn with some olive oil and then i have the um ground beef with taco a taco packet in it which i need to heat up and then i also in the microwave have refried beans which i need to heat up again because i've been waiting for the rice which has been taking forever so i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all put together all right, here's what mine looks like. I have my refried beans, my rice is in there somewhere, the meat, and then the corn, and then I have jalapeno um, slices, my avocado, did I already say the corn, salsa, some of that sauce on it, and the lettuce, and then same thing with Andy except minus the jalapenos and the avocado. Oh, crap. I forgot cheese, so I'm going to put some cheese on top, and then we can just mix it together. And then that's it. Looks super good. All right, so I'm filming on my phone because my camera is actually charging downstairs. It's the next day, but I wanted to show you guys um, all this new stuff that I got, and I've been using it for about a week now, so I feel like I can like accur accurately tell you how I like it and stuff. Um, but yeah, I went to Ulta, and I got all of this. Um, I've been having issues with Basically, my skin is oily, but I also have dry patches really bad, so I always feel like I have, like, dead skin on my face, like, that I need to exfoliate, but then I end up having dry patches, so I don't know. It's just, like, a constant battle that I was dealing with. So, I got this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to dry skin, which I was, after I read it when I got home, I was kind of nervous that it wouldn't work because I do have, like, oily skin, but not super oily if that makes sense so i feel like i'm kind of like a normal skin but i've been using this and i really really like it i was having some issues with like breakouts on my um like hairline like by like behind my head i guess like on my neck the back of my neck 
and I've been like kind of pulling that back there in the shower and it's cleared it up really well so definitely recommend that and then I got back into skincare stuff I got this um the ordinary hyaluronic acid and this is supposed to be like super hydrating and I've been using this like in the morning when I wash my face and then also at night because that's what it says to do and I really like it I mean it doesn't smell like anything but it feels really good on your skin and it makes it just feel like super smooth so and it doesn't break me out so yeah I got this at Ulta the small thing is actually in the like travel section by the checkout so I got that and then I got the Mario Badescu um facial spray so this I would say I love it. Like I like the way that it smells and the way that it feels. So if you are looking for something that smells good and feels good, then sure. But this doesn't like do anything for me. I feel, um, if you're looking, if you're looking for like a dewy look after you put your makeup on, then this could definitely do that for you as like a setting spray. But like I said, I have oily skin, so I kind of already have the dewy look just like throughout the day as my skin, you know, gets oily. So, um, I definitely like this, like after I wash my face and stuff, I'll spray it on. Um, or if I'm like not wearing makeup that day. So, I mean, I do use it and I do like it, but it's not like a necessity, I feel. And then, <clears throat> excuse my coffee. I'm like, just woke up this morning. Um, and then I got this hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer, which I know that's hyaluronic acid and this is too, but I haven't had any issues with using that in the morning and then using this as like my tinted moisturizer. So this is what I've been using. That's the color that I got and I really like this. It's, it has like a nice little pump. It's the color pop one. And yeah, I really like it as like my base makeup. I honestly like this paired with the Tarte Shape Tape a lot better than wearing like full coverage foundation and I feel like it looks more natural and I don't know it doesn't feel as like heavy. <clears throat> so then I have never tried the <laughs> Tarte um, Shape Tape ever. Um, so I saw this little pack and this was $15 which is kind of a lot but I guess Tarte is expensive so um, I got the they were together so I got the Shape Tape and then this is the Glow Wand so I've been using these with the tinted moisturizer and I really freaking like this like no wonder why everybody loves it so if you haven't ever tried it definitely try to get like the little tester thing so you can try it and see if you like it before you buy like the full thing but I'll definitely be repurchasing this um after this is up but I feel like there's honestly a lot in here so I feel like these will last me a while the um glow wand I guess is supposed to be like a um, highlighter which definitely does that but I don't know that this is necessary I think I would rather have like a powder highlighter rather than this so I don't think I would repurchase this in like the full size unless they like came together or something and then for my primers I got this color correcting from um, Revolution I like this I don't necessarily think that it takes away all the redness like I was hoping that it would um, it doesn't, I don't know, I guess it's not really that thick, but I do like it as a primer. So, I mean, I probably won't repurchase this as like a color corrector, but I'll definitely still use it as a primer. And then I have really oily eyelids. Um, so I decided to get some eyelid primer. This is by Morphe and it's actually been working really well. So I'll probably keep this as like my go-to. And then I didn't mention, but this is the um, moisturizer that I use. I've used this for a long time, um, so I can definitely speak on this, um, but I love this one. This is probably my favorite moisturizer, and it has SPF in it, so definitely recommend this if you have oily skin, but still need a moisturizer. And then that's it for the skincare stuff. I did, however, get some fake lashes to try, which if you follow me on my Instagram, then you probably saw me trying these and talking about them, but these are the Ardell Soft Touch Trios, and then these are the, uh, frick, Ilure, Ilure, I think, Natural Wisp or something like that. So, as for these, I'm like dropping everything, I tried to put these on, I've never used fake lashes before, so keep that in mind, but <clears throat> I tried to use these and I could not get these on literally to save my life, like, for whatever reason, I just could not get them on. I've never done it before, so I think that's why I just don't have experience in doing it. But I tried these, and I really liked them. As you can tell, I like used the top two. But I really like these and definitely recommend these. They lasted for a while, and they look 
supernatural and andy likes them and everything so um they're e way easier to put on like the second time you try it or whatever but definitely definitely recommend these because i don't know for my first time i feel like they looked really good and i actually didn't even put any like mascara or anything on with them so um definitely recommend these they're definitely not like an everyday thing unless you have that time in the morning but for like going out or whatever um i definitely really like these and these are how lashify is so i was looking into getting that um they're like the three pieces or whatever like all individual so i figured i really tried these to make sure that i liked having something on my lashes and if i didn't then obviously lashify wouldn't be for me um but i think that i am going to try lashify eventually but we'll see how i like these for now